So recently I downloaded the source code for the IM Music Player mod, or the EM Music Player mod. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it, so I'm just going to say IM Music Player. And the devs are Japanese, so they call it like the Itsuki Music Player mod or something, but I don't know. On uh, all the mod download sites, it's labeled as IM Music Player, so I'm just going to leave it with that. Uh, so it's a very useful mod. It lets you play music and create playlists and stuff like that, which everyone in the world can hear. So if I want to place this speaker somewhere and make it play music, all the other players who walk by through my, my bass or whatever, they can hear the music playing that I select. And it's really cool. You can, you know, link it to like URLs, link it to YouTube, link it to SoundCloud. You can even upload your own music too, although each track has to be eight megabytes uh, maximum. But it, it's super good. Uh, I love the mod. I just thought I'd make some changes to it to better suit, create, and just the aesthetics of Minecraft in general, because uh, in the original mod, it's all like weirdly detailed computers, and like the boombox has like I remember I was looking through the uh, the models for it, and they're like way more than there needs to be. So I simplified a lot of it. So like the workstation is literally just a block, you know, cassette station's just a block, speaker's just a block, but it's small, and you can like place it on walls, on ceilings, and stuff. So that's cool. Uh, yeah, and it always faces towards you, which is nice. I'm going to go clear this stuff. All right, so uh, first things first, the radio antenna. Uh, the way things work after you place a speaker is you can put in antennas here if you don't have a cassette. And you, if you have a radio antenna, it lets you uh, tune into radio broadcasts or YouTube live streams. So if you have a... I don't know, like a lo-fi stream that you want to use, you can just link to that using this. If there's a real-life radio station that have has a link to the radio online, you can do that. Like, uh, a lot of them have it, and I like, did not realize it as a thing, but it is completely, so it's really cool. The parabolic antenna is like this, but it lets you listen to in-game broadcasts instead of, like, real-life broadcasts. So, like, stuff that you make using the audio workstation right um you can access all of that with this without using cassette tapes so this is really useful uh, the way you craft these by the way again all the recipes have been changed to suit create so this is the radio antenna this is how you make it this is the parabolic antenna this is how you make it uh, i use redstone links now instead of like ender pearls and all that stuff they had before because uh well now we have actual wireless redstone so i thought it'd be cool uh these are the cassette tapes as far as i can tell they do Pretty much the exact same thing. There's no difference. Maybe one writes faster or something. I haven't checked, but here's how you craft them. Uh, yeah. Here's the manual. Uh, it doesn't work. Even in the base mod, it doesn't work. The patchouli integration is just broken, so not much you can do about it. Uh, but it's pretty straightforward. Like I, you don't even really need to watch the tutorial to understand what or how everything works. It's just use just enough items. You can look up all the recipes anyway. Uh, here's the cassette station. This is what you use to actually burn the cassettes down. So you craft it. Uh, here is the audio workstation. This is how you actually make playlists, invite people to access and modify playlists, because you can make them private, public, read-only, member-only, all that stuff. If you have a faction on a server or something and you want everyone in the faction to be able to access that playlist, uh, you can. You know, it's a very nice. Super in-depth. It's a great, great mod. Uh, and here is the speaker. This is how you actually play the music. Uh, originally it was a boombox, but I felt like that was too specific, so I just want something more general, which is the speaker. And then unlike the boombox, I changed it so you can actually like place it on ceilings like that. On the side, it always faces down towards you, or if I'm up, it'll face upwards. Uh, and the placement for stuff like this, the animations change too, so it actually faces up and downwards. That was weirdly annoying to get working, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, I'm glad that everything is functioning now. And that is hey craft everything. I'm going to go grab this back. Oh, no. Here we go. And now I'm going to show how the workstation works. So I already have a sample playlist set up. But basically, you turn it on. Uh, and then you get you show the, gets shown you the UI. Um, I'm going to just ignore that for a second so I can show this off. Yeah, when the computer's running, there's a little animation in the back that I made. Uh, I thought it was really cool. It's like 3D, you can look inside the, the computer and see the wiring. Anyhow, uh, when it's off, you know, stops running. 
Here is the test playlist. Um, you can add tracks, you can change the way they're sorted. It shows you who added them to the playlist, things like that. I just have a test person invited, but you know, you can choose to kick people out if you want to. You can change the authority of various people who have been invited. You can change playlist stuff like the image. You can change all that. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, here's how you make a new playlist. Basically just, you can pick one that already exists like you, through YouTube, like a YouTube playlist if you want. You just import here. But uh, normally you just do this, public, private, read only. All this is pretty, pretty uh, self-explanatory. Uh, you can set it so the image is just by default your face. You can upload your own images. You can do whatever you want with the name. It's really cool. Um, and yeah, so here's the new playlist. The way you add tracks are pretty simple. You just click add track again. Same thing with the image of the track. Same thing with the name. Uh, here's all the ways you can upload them. You can just link directly to the, the file online, or you can use one of these providers or upload your own music. But uh, each track is limited to 8 megabytes. So, is what it is. Uh, I already have this test playlist up here, so we're just going to use that for this, but yeah. And uh, that's how the audio workstation works. The way the cassette station works is that you throw in your cassette, right? Oh, first I'm going to turn it on. And then you throw it in, a little animation that shows when it opens up. And then you can write songs from various playlists. This is empty, something's going to show up. This one has Sneaky Snitch on it. So I'd click that, and then I'd click this, and it burns onto the cassette. So you wait for that to finish, and then uh, you can pick it up. I already have it burned onto the glass one over here, so we don't actually need to wait for this, to be honest. I'll just take it out, put this one in, and I'll just show you what it looks like when you actually click playback, which just lets you listen to the music without actually using a speaker. So it'll start playing from this. It's really quiet, though. Uh, speakers have way better volume, but yeah. So that's how that works. Um, so yeah, now we actually show the speaker, which is the main part of the mod. It's the most important thing. Uh, when you have it down like this, when you're holding it like this, it lets you place things and get rid of them, right? Uh, but if you shift right click or control right click, whatever your crouch button is, you'll put it on your, your, on the back, right? And you'll hold it like this. And when you have it in this way, when you right click, it actually opens up the UI, so you don't have to have it placed for it to work. I'm going to place it though anyways, just I'm more used to it like that. So here's the speaker. I'm going to turn it on. And the way it works is that you put in the cassette tape, and then you can play the music. It's pretty simple. And it plays, you know, positional audio. If I'm over here, I'll hear it on the left side. If I'm over here, I'll hear it on the right side. Um, and it's the same for all players, like on the server. So if you have speakers set up in your base, they'll hear the music playing in your base. If you have speakers set up in like a town square, they'll hear the stuff in the town square. It's really nice. Um, yeah. So that's how that works. Uh, you can also destroy them. And then once you do, they'll stay in their current state and you can carry them around. Like a, like a pit boy playing the radio or whatever. Or you can just carry it like this. And you turn it off when you set back to building mode. And then you go like this, it'll turn back on, then immediately do this. And yeah. One cool thing about it too is that even when it's not in anyone's inventory or place, it'll still play music. So I'll throw this on the ground and it'll take a sec to recalibrate, but even the dropped item plays music, <laughs> which is really cool. Um, I want to go set it down. Uh, here is the radio stuff. Oh, I don't have an antenna in. One sec. So here is the two antennas. I already explained what they do, but I'll just do this again. Here is the radio antenna. If you click this, it lets you input a streamer URL. Uh, I'll edit this. This doesn't go off screen. I'll edit the text later on, but yeah. Uh, I'm just going to go. I have an NCS live stream over here, and I'll just put that here. And then I'll click play, and it takes a second longer to actually like load the broadcasts versus the um, cassette stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna turn this down. So they have the copyright-free music playing right now, but this is any stream though. So if you want to use your local radio station, uh, that works too. And that's how the radio antenna works. But the parabolic antenna um, is great. 
because you can basically access any playlist that you have been invited to on the entire server uh, without actually having to burn it on a cassette. So if I want to go back to Sneaky Snitch, I just do it here. And then boom. Now Sneaky Snitch is back. And that's pretty much the extent of the mod. I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, but I just thought that some of the models looked really weird even for vanilla Minecraft. And I just wanted to make them look nicer. And I was running a crate mod pack. I'm making one right now. So I was like, oh, I might modify it so it looks a bit nicer and fits in with everything else a bit better. So yeah, that's the extent of it. Obviously, all these icons are pretty self-explanatory. Mute, increase volume, loop, stop, all that. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah.